Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft mod tutorial video. This is a basic overview and tutorial of the Fisk's superhero mod. So, right before I get into it, I'm just going to start off by saying this is a 1.7.10 mod. Um, I, I've said in the past I probably won't do any mods, but I've heard that this mod is really good. And I decided to check it out, and I think this is probably my favourite superhero mod. Better than Heroes Expansion and Lucraft and all the like legends mod and all those ones so yeah let's get into the tutorial all right so the very first thing in this game the most important thing is you need this thing which is called a cretal shell and you get that from this mob this mob is called a cretal so the way you find these cretals is at night time in a forest um Tiger has a higher spawn chance than normal forest, but in um, a forest, this will spawn at night time. Uh, if you have journey map, you see how there's the head, so you will not have a uh, a mob head, but you spawn it, you kill it somehow. It's actually quite quick, especially when you have bad frame rate. There you go, um, and then you get the achievement seek, and you shall find, and you get the cradle shell so now if you take the this the gold ingots and the cradle shell what you want to make is you're trying to make something called a it's called um let me check it's called iridescent gold i believe yep iridescent gold if i just quickly there we go so it is made with gold ingots, gold nuggets, and the shells. So if I turn this into nuggets, put that in the middle there, put ingots all around, there we go, I got two iridescent gold. And this is very important for actually crafting the suits. So, next thing is, you need the ores. So I just put this pickaxe here as an example. This is called the Tetridium pickaxe. It's made with this. So the ores that spawn naturally in this game um, all spawn are these ones and this is what you get if you mine it however with the Eternium you need a Tritium pickaxe now there is one thing let me try find it quickly I believe it's the Dwarf Star Meteor only spawns in the Mesa and under um, and under Y16 believe it was yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, I, I believe it was the Dwarf Star Media. Yes, Dwarf Star or it generates exclusively in desert and mesa biomes below Y16. Everything else should spawn normally. So, once you get that and you mine them, you will need a lot of the Tetridium gems as well as a few of any other things. And back here in the chest, I have a lot of these in case I need them. Now, what we want to try and make is the Alloy Smeltery. So for this, you will need titanium ingots, which you get from just smelting titanium in a furnace. And now if I put this here, and like this, I've made the alloy smeltery. And then, once you have the alloy smelter, um, smeltery, as you can see here, there's this, where you could put in blaze powder. And if you click on the recipes, you see, for example, raw dwarf star, gold ingots gives you dwarf star alloy. Um, the crystalline tetrite is made with raw tetrite and emeralds. Raw vibranium and iron ingots give you vibranium ingots. Raw tetrite and olivine gives you crystal crystalline tetrite. And then gold and titanium gives you a gold titanium ingot. And for olivine dust and netherite quartz gives you olivine. So that is how you would make anything to be able to get anything from what I just showed in the recipes. Next thing we're making is a suit database. Now this is what you actually need for um like for the suits. Without the suit database you can't make any suits. You can't really make suits without this either but the suit database is the most important part. It's made like this with four iron ingots, two stone slabs Crafting table, stone, and a tetridium gem. Now I put this here. 
instantly I click on it, or, sorry I was on it, there we go, instantly I click on it and you can see weird display and let's say this is your first time playing so you just press around, click nanotech, see some things and you can see it looks very complicated at the start, different things, so I will try and explain it to you. So how you, um, th you use this is if you left click on, let's say we'll start off with um, ranged, left click on it and it opens everything that once you unlock ranged you have the ability to unlock. So it opens black canary, um, obviously like both the black canaries, um, geomancer, heat wave, killer frost, RIP hunter, rupture, etc. And obviously these will need um, like a different one. Um, as well like different things and also range 2 but if you right click on it it will show you encompasses suits with basic range capabilities and it has 0 out of 6 gems and 1 out of 10 so that's XP points as you can see there if you click on the unlock it shows 6 gems missing and 9 XP points so for the sake of this video I'm going to do slash XP 2000 2000 L and then my username now, you guys uh, without cheats will just have to go and find and get XP. But now I'll have enough, enough XP for the rest of the video. Um, now, what you do is um, is you need to grab all of these gems from before. And I'll just grab all of them and just shove them in my inventory. And now, if I right click on it, I can unlock it. And it goes there, and now it's unlocked more things. And now, as you can see, I have a lot more things available to unlock. So I'm going to unlock just basic melee. Um, unlock magic. Unlock nanotech. And as you can see, if I click on it, well, magic was a bad example. If I click on, let's say, melee. Now this opens melee 2, and a lot of different suits and uh, this can unlock and essentially it's just like a, a mind map I guess you could think of it as like a mind map uh, uh, it flows into each other this you see melee 2 makes all of these makes 3 and then if I click on for example Martian Manhunter comics it shows everything I need to get so I'd need to get flight which means I need traversal 2 which means I need traversal 1 traversal 1 like and you can just see that's how you get all those things. Now, some of these will actually need the, um, I forgot what it's called, the iridis iridescent gold, I think that's what it's called. Oh, I made a bunch of cradle shells, but I didn't make the gold in the chest. Oops, silly me. Um, so I'll just make, um, a lot more of the gold, so. Uh, I'll be right back after I make a lot more gold and there we go and I'll just shove that and that in there I made a bit too much gold but that should be enough and now if I go in here I have more things to unlock and essentially if I click on someone like spider-man no not spider-man it's a bad example um where was it it was six seven um not not this captain america there if I go, if I click on Sam Wilson, Captain America, um, and as you can see, I'll, I currently have not that many things unlocked, so blue is what you've unlocked, green is what you can unlock, but for this, I will need to unlock all of these to get just Falcon, unlock all of these so I'll be able to make it in general, and all of these to get Captain America, and then you combine them to get Captain America, Sam Wilson. Um, and yeah, so that's how you actually unlock those parts of the suits. But how do you actually make each suit? For that, you'll need this, which is called the suit fabricator. Now, this is made with two of the tritium gems, uh, two blocks of titanium, and four titanium ingots. And I'm going to keep these there. Now, if I put these in, there's also, um, if you check, there's also one there we go got an achievement one where is it you'll probably be able to see it before i do somewhere here there's like this there we go here the cosmic soup fabricator which is just a cosmic version of this 
which is made with things I'll go on in a later video, but it lets you have the, um, these, uh, group 5, uh, which all need the, something called a cos, like, they all need the cosmic ability, um, which you get from the eternity nexus, which I'll explain in a later video. Um, and also, uh, if you click on this here, uh, it shows you all of the suits, so I currently can only unlock one. But if I put the suit fabricator down, there we go, that's what it looks like, and um, you'll want to start stacking the gems in here, because uh, I'll show you what you do next. So the next thing that you will want is one titanium ingot, four titanium nuggets, one redstone, one iron ingot to make the black suit data drive. You can then, you can then later dye it. Um, but w with that, what this will, other way around, what this will, <laughs> there we go, what this allows you to do is later right click on this, on this, and take from the unlock suits and store it in your drive, so then you're able to put it in here like there, and then, as you can see it's empty currently, and then you'll be able to use it. So I'll give an example after I make the next thing you need, which is the suit core, is four titanium nuggets, four diamonds, and one tritium gem. Put the gem in the middle, put the diamonds like that, put the nuggets, put the suit core, and now you have the core. And now if I put the core in here, let's just say I'm going to just, uh, I'll just quickly do a time lapse of me unlocking as many things as I can without having to actually like spend more. Um, and we'll then I'll decide which is the best choice just to give an example because I will want to show you something later which is over there called the suit I I think it's called the suit iterator iterator I have no clue what that word means so if someone wants to educate me go ahead okay so what you will have to do as you can see here is if you do group four to five the way to unlock it is you need to unlock a tier 3. So if you, I go to group 1, I need to unlock a tier 1. So if I go to group 2, I need to unlock a tier 1. So I'd have to, for example, just I'll do um, tapped and cold just to unlock. And then to show, now if I unlock this, a bunch more things can be unlocked. So I might quickly actually work on... um strange uh yeah i'll show strange actually yeah that's that's what i'm gonna do because he's probably my favorite multiverse of madness was was quite a good movie i know it was a bit controversial yeah it was a bit fast at some points it made a bit no sense in others but it was a good movie um okay so what you do is once you unlock it uh you'll grab your data drive and you right click on what didn't I just on what happened that always happens that happened to me as well when I was earlier okay unlock this yes okay I got the achievement from alpha which mean which is unlock your first suit maybe it's because I didn't click out of it that's why um, and now I unlock this go into here and now I can unlock Doctor Strange, he's the only one else I'd want to. Um, no, I'll go over there, ability is a different day. Now if I right click here, I can transfer these to the stored suit. Get the you wouldn't seal a car achievement. Put this in here, and now it shows you that. And it will tell you, for example, oh no, you need missing gems and missing suit core. So you put the suit core, you put the gems. And you click print but right before that i want to show you the achievements map so if i do here this is the achievements map so after you get um this you can make a suit uh, itinerator which is quite i'll show you what exactly that does I, I don't know what that is but um there's a bunch of different things a bunch of different achievements i'll show them all at different times and yeah, the, it's it's a really fun mod, really well built, and quite new, even though it's an old version. So if I click print, and you go here, 
this mod has some of the best animations I've ever seen in a mod. So I will just show this. Look at this. It's just building it up. This, by the way, is what um, Spider-Man uses in Far From Home, if you haven't realized. Um, look, he's just building up the suit. So I'm going to uh, quickly just let this finish building, and then I'll show you what the suit iterator does. Okay, and as you can see, it finished that. So if it had a helmet, it would have kept going and building it, but this one doesn't have a helmet because the socks are strange. And then, there you go, it's done. So you right-click it, you get the things. And now, also, if you want to switch it, you click slot. So I could also make this if I had another suit core. Now, oops, didn't mean to do that. Right-click, right-click, right-click. And there we go, I'm wearing his things. It shows you up here on the right the different um things so i will go over everything in the neck in different videos i'll do different tutorials on how to properly go through and what you'll need to get each character and also what each character's abilities are uh ignore pretend i didn't fly because yeah and this is a suit i uh, um iterator and i forgot to put the things in there how does that even happen okay well you'll need two iron ingots two vibranium ingots one tritium gem and two redstone so i'll do i'll get the four vibranium first um i'll just game mode creator for a sec okay um pretend uh you saw nothing and now if i go here i can make this i keep misclicking that's what you do when you play with frames is bad and there we go I've made that and I get the switching it up achievement now what this does is if I place it down it seems like it wants you to put the suit there right and if I were to search up Doctor Strange as you can see there's two different suits there's robes and there's the Eye of Agamotto one which is hmm, a bit weird how do you get those because if you click on it it will show you the same recipe this is how you click it in there then you can choose if you want it to look better or not and that's that so that so you go like that so if i would do for example just spider-man's chest piece actually no the spider-man because i'm not sure about spider-man because spider-man has um in here spider-man has a few uh that's has the movies that's the raimi movies ps4 and the mcu i'm not sure about that but any other person that you'd use that like you'd show um for example uh if i do green arrow um you'd take green arrow and you'd put it in here so actually i'm going to um you know never mind this video has gone on long enough i'll show that in a different video um but yeah that's this video thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed um please uh like and subscribe it'll help out a ton share this video with your friends especially friends that play with mods that are fun um reminder this is 1.7.10 and uh comment down below which uh which person you'd want me to do tutorials on next thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video bye